It's kind of that sneaky sunburn weather. A little cloudy, but 83 degrees. A beautiful afternoon here in the New York area. Three-year-old filly trotters will be showcased in the Hamiltonian Oaks. And right now, Elusive Desire and Raising Rachel, virtual co-favorites, they have been going back and forth in the wagering here for about the last hour. A field of nine, I Wanted Wings has been scratched. Number nine, Honorable Daughter at seven to one. That was last year's two-year-old filly champ. Well, rightfully so that Elusive Desire and Raising Rachel Kenny are on the board now, pretty much even at five to two apiece. Honorable Daughter, as you mentioned, the two-year-old fill filly trotting champion, really hasn't come back the same as she was at two. She's had some issues this year, but John Campbell, who drove Elusive Desire in the Hamiltonian Oaks elimination, has decided that loyalty counts a lot for him. He has gone back to the connections from Honorable Daughter because he was her regular pilot last year. And this is a race that's certainly different from the Hamiltonian, not because it's the three-year-old filly trotters, but again, this is kind of a wide open race. At least two or three would have a choice. There is Honorable Daughter we were talking about last year's champ. And now with more on the Oaks, let's go to the paddock now and Ken Warkington. Ken. Well, thanks, guys. The road to the uh, Hamiltonian Oaks today certainly goes through the uh horse on the rail, Elusive Desire with her speed. She's drawn the rail and that's going to give her a distinct advantage. I was hoping to get some value here on my best bet of the day, the two raising Rachel, who won her elimination in aggressive style with Jack Moiseev. She was coming off some sickness and she went by a very good filly in Honorable Daughter. She has a big chance to work out a perfect trip today. Jack Moiseev knows his way around the racetrack here, a champion driver here for many years. He's from New Jersey. He won the title here in 1982. I'm going to add some value to my exacta here. Number seven and Margarita Mama. She's a very consistent filly. She loves this racetrack. She's already won two major stakes here this meet. She loves the long stretch and she can capitalize on a hot pace. I think we're going to have that today. Her trainer, Jan Janssen, has won this a record six times. And there's Ron Pierce. He's won it three times. For more on the track, here's another member of our team today, Donna Brothers. Thank you, Ken. Well, earlier Gary Seibel was talking about how John Campbell had a choice between riding the morning line, or I'm sorry, driving the morning line favorite, Elusive Desire, or the horse that sort of ran a subpar race last time out the nine, Honorable Daughter. I talked to John Campbell about that decision, and he said that she had some respiratory problems in her Ham Hambo Oaks elimination, and he really believes that she tried it a subpar race in there and believes that she's going to come back with a much better performance today. I wanted to mention the five Moonlo Moonlight Kronos. This is a horse that came from Sweden, has had one start here in the United States, but has been quarantined since she's been in the United States. Uh, she trains by herself every single morning, comes out here at about 11.30 a.m., but I don't think it's going to affect her because I think it's pretty nice that she's had the whole track to herself, and now that she's been out here with all the other horses, it doesn't seem to bother her at all, Kenny. And Donna Moonlight Kronos right now, the fourth choice at 9-2. to two. Elusive Desire at 2-1 to one is a slight choice now over Raising Rachel at 5-2 to two as we have a final check of the tote board out there and a couple thousand dollars more coming in on Elusive Desire at this time. So riding that win streak, she the slight edge over Raising Rachel in what is expected to be a very close, interesting, and entertaining Hamiltonian Oaks as always. This is a race that generally has turned out more upsets than the Hamiltonian. Well, Kenny, uh, you know, the price on both Elusive Desire and Raising Rachel, if you like, one or both, not bad right now, but I'm going to look for a little bit more value here. Another one of the Phillies that won her Hamiltonian Oaks elimination, and that was the very impressive Broadway schooner for Arlene and Jules Siegel. It is a homebred for them, for trainer Jim Campbell, who won the Hamiltonian in 1995 with his brother John driving with the horse by the name of Tagliabu. Broadway schooner has Brian Sears. Sears drove of her in her elimination and she won by better than six and he's having a big day so far is Sears he's already got three wins on the card I think she's got a big chance and right now she's on the board at five to one elusive desire now nine to five trying to make it six in a row and capture the Hamiltonian Oaks As the three-year-old trotting fillies make their way, there's the favorite right now, Elusive Desire. Talked about the win streak that she's been on, and everything seems to be going in place for her at the moment. Well, a lot of her domination took place north of the border, Kenny, at Mohawk, and she came down and showed, in fact, that she loved the Meadowlands Racing Strip and went in 153-2 and two for 
three-year-old filly trotters that is moving some. And right now you can see that Elusive Desire has in fact regained the favorites role. Okay to play the three horse at 10 to one is won only once this year, but that was in the elimination. And now the horses approaching the gate. Again, the favorites, the one and two, Elusive Desire and Raising Rachel as we get ready for the Hamiltonian hoax here to kick off this big day of racing at the Meadowlands. And let's go upstairs now to Sam McKee with the call. And the starting gate is rolling, and the theme for the Hamiltonian Oaks could be O Canada. Top two fillies in Ontario, Elusive Desire and Raising Rachel, starting side by side after impressive elimination wins. They renew their rivalry this afternoon on American soil. It's post time for the Hamiltonian Oaks, a field of nine. Three-year-old trotting fillies lined up, and they're approaching the start. And they're off, and Honorable Daughter goes off stride. Honorable Daughter jumped it off when trying to leave from the outside. So Elusive Desire moves out at the rail to grab command, and Raising Rachel backs off to settle right in behind her. Okay to play is pressing on on the outside from third, and then it's two lengths to Broadway Schooner. Timeless winner two, also a first turn breaker. Moonlight Kronos, the Swedish filly, came away in fifth. She's about six lengths from the lead right now. Then two more lengths to Jersey Oz, followed by Margarita Mama. Honorable Daughter on a wild gallop the quarter in 28 seconds seconds flat and timeless winner two trails the field as they head onto the back stretch and Dan Dubay puts okay to play on the lead she's two lengths clear elusive desire tracks in the pocket spot second and raising Rachel watching the action third and Paul McDonnell makes a move elusive desire out from second and now she thinks better of it and backs off to drop back in as okay to play is committed to the lead nearing the half mile marker raising Rachel loving this action in front of her Broadway scooter is patient in fourth moonlight chronos waiting for her to go fifth 55 and 4, 27 and 4 in that second quarter. Margarita Mama sneaks up the rail for Pierce, taking the short route. And Jersey Oss is stacked up toward the outside. And Broadway Schooner is wheeled to the outside. First over with three eights to go. She's three and a half lengths from the lead with Moonlight Chronos tracking her cover. So it's okay to play. Coming to the three-quarter marker. Elusive Desire right there in second and starting to edge. Raising Rachel on the inside. And Broadway Schooner is coming on on the outside. Three quarters and 125 and 1. Okay to play at the top of the stretch in front. Broadway Schooner looking to track her down on the outside. Jersey Ass is in with a shot on the far outside. Margarita Mama coming as well. It's Broadway Schooner with an eighth of a mile to go. Margarita Mama is second. Then Jersey Ass diving to the inside. Raising Rachel. Broadway Schooner up on the outside. Margarita Mama and Raising Rachel between them. A wild finish in the out. Raising Rachel very tight. Raising Rachel and Broadway Schooner hit the wire together. 154 what a finish to this year's Hamiltonian Oaks, one they will be talking about for several years. Kenny, a lot of strategy going on in that race. First of all, OK to play who won her Hamiltonian uh, Elimination Oaks on the front end. Went right to the lead again for Dan Dubay. She's got speed. Dubay put her on the lead saying, catch me if you can. She finally gives way, raising Rachel Elusive Desire there as well. And Elusive Desire for Paul McDonnell, thinking of coming out a little bit earlier, thought better of that, sat along the inside. That might have paid off for her for, with a closer finish in here. And the four Broadway schooner, very, very game. But she had to come first over, the first horse on the outside. And raising Rachel may, in fact, have picked up the pieces here from a quick tempo for driver Jack Moisea. In the final strides, it appears it is raising Rachel. Still waiting for the official word, but let's go to the track now with Donna Brothers. Donna. As Donna waits with us. Let me see if I can get you to just slow down just a little bit, but it looks like you did win your first Hamiltonian Oaks. Very, very close finish. Did you think you won it? No, stop. Uh, Jack, they're calling you the winner. Huh? Uh, first Hamiltonian Oaks. I'm real excited. Win the Hambo one time with Never the Oaks, and uh, thanks to John Copus, I win the Oaks. Tell me about your trip. Obviously, it wasn't an easy one with such a close finish. No, I was second. Oh, no, nope. I'm sorry about that, Jack. Guys, wrong one. Well, Donna, it just happened. It just happened about the time you were going over, and it did appear from our angle on our video that it was raising Rachel, but it was instead Brian Sears with Broadway Schooner 
nipping Racing Rachel at the finish. That close to decide this edition of the Hambletonian Oaks. A wild photo finish between three horses and it is Broadway Schooner, the number four that just inches in front of number two, Raising Rachel. We'll talk more about this when we come back on Hamiltonian Day. An upset here in the Hamiltonian Oaks decided by a photo finish and Broadway Schooner just nipping, raising Rachel to come away with the win. The six to one choice returning 1460. Elusive Desire, the favorite at race time coming in third. Let's go down to Ken now with the winner. With winning driver Brian Sears' fourth winner of the day and his first Hamiltonian Oaks, we all thought the two won there. Did you think you won? Actually, I congratulated Jack after the wire. I said, nice job, and um, I got goosebumps when, they, when the four came up. What do you, this was just a game effort off that blowout win in her elimination. What were you thinking top of the stretch? Well, I kind of got stuck first over. I thought Jack would pull, and um, you know, I said, well, she's hanging in there real game, and they weren't really uh, swarming in on her too, too quick. So, um, you know, I was pleased with the effort, and I was going to be happy being second, but I knew it was tight, and um, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm just so happy that it uh, ended up on top. Absolutely. It seems like it's your day of destiny, and you're looking to become the first driver to win the Oaks and the Hamiltonian on the same day. Congratulations with this one. Thank you very much. All right, Brian Sears, winning driver here with Broadway Schooner. We'll see him with Muscle Hill later, and there you see how close it is. A four on the outside, Broadway Schooner getting the win, and even the winning driver wasn't sure at the time.